I, I definitely said great back air once today, and I was like, you did it, Paul. You really brought it home. <laughs> Good stuff. <laughs> Anyway, okay, so we'll have this nice friendly going on in the background. Uh, so, we have here our week five champion, Chloe. Um, of course, one of our resident, like, yeah, you've been best player in the club for like three years now or something. I don't know. I don't, really I, I don't even know if I can like literally consider myself like top because I've only been to like two tournaments. I mean, I guess, I guess... The two showings, both of them, like, the two pretty showings are good, but like, there's a lot of people that like I've missed in bracket. Like, I feel like I get lucky with bracket sometimes. Like, you yeah, um, haven't played me. I haven't played. Yeah, I haven't played you. Honestly, the Yoshi scares me too. Yeah, um, no, Yoshi's oh, ESS is. I think it's even, but I like Yoshi just scares me. Yeah, I mean, I don't know how to feel. I kind of feel like it's like I, that's a matchup where I go back and forth. Sometimes I'm yeah. like, wow, Yoshi wins this. Like not in cubes, like 55, 45, and sometimes like this is even. Um, and then yeah. sometimes he like up air, up air, up beat me, and I'm like, this is unwinnable. Yeah, exactly. Um, and then sometimes I just like egg, like egg spike. You. I think what what it is is uh, Zuzu has a harder time dealing with like Yoshi's like things like eggs and fair, but like I think Zuzu does punish harder. I Zero Suit punishes more reliably, but like the thing is that like for instance like as a Yoshi player, and I know this is. Not even really talking about humans, just talking about a matchup that we probably won't even see. Um, so what's interesting about it is that like if Yoshi gets the way Yoshi's com his combo game works is that he puts himself in an advantageous position and he has he has ways to keep himself there. Yeah. Like the way Zero Suit works is she has a lot of like guaranteed stuff or maybe like there's like a one branching point and she can get like like. 40%. Yeah, sure. Yoshi, if I make, I can continue my reads, and like, I've gotten 80% on Zero Suit. Because I just like keep hitting, and this is like before it even returns to Goofy. You know, like for instance, if you air dodge at any point, downer is 32%. Yeah, true. Um, and possibly even follow ups. Like, um, so with, with Yoshi, it's in general, he's, he's a character that instead of thriving off of these, um, these like you know these sort of guaranteed follow-ups. Yeah. He thrives off of his advantageous. Yeah, I agree. I agree. All right. And he has a lot of tools that are uh, hard to deal with. So I can yeah. see why. Like um, fair. Like big things are fair and air yeah. eggs. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, uh, so let's just talk about. So um, I probably this is actually the question I probably should have opened with, which is uh, when's Chloe? <laughs> um, all right, we got that out of the way now. So um, I'm actually very curious. How is your semester going? How is my semester going? Because you, I realized that, like, you know, you were a huge force in the club last year, or at the beginning of last year, yeah. and then you kind of had to take, you know, classes, you're pre-med, right? Yeah, pre-med. You know, and pre-med is pre-med, and eventually you kind of had to be like, listen, this is fun, but there's a thing called organic chemistry. Um, so I'm just wondering, like, how is it that so far you've been juggling? Like, you still come here, even though you've only been to two tournaments, you come here and just blow everyone out of the water. You drop two games this entire tournament. Um, like, how is it that you're able to manage, you know, your pre-med track and also... Smash? Your Smash. Well, I think the thing is... Um the thing about Smash 4 is that I feel like it's a game that you don't have to grind as much. Like, once you have a clear understanding of how to play, like, what your bread and butters are, and, like, what you have to do, and, like, what you have to look for in the neutral, you know? Then, um, I feel like it's not a game that you have to be constantly playing. Like, I think in Melee, like, Melee is a game that you have to grind a lot, because like, it's a lot of tech skill, like, you gotta, like, you know, always be on point with that stuff, you know? Yeah. But for me, I feel like I can, like, literally watch a tournament, like, Big House, and I can learn something valuable. And I can mm. implement that into my play, like, immediately, you know? And so... Yes. Uh, I think when it comes to Smash 4, like, once you have a strong basis down, you don't necessarily need to, you know, um, continually you grind, 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 no, but, yeah. I mean, no, 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 I guess no. that depends, though, because I feel yeah. like the upper of up levels yeah. is definitely like, something you have to So, admittedly, like, I, I completely agree with you. I'm, at this point, I don't own a system at all. Really? And, yeah, no, at this point, I just, like, come to these fests, I go to Xeno, that's basically the only practice I can get. But, like, actually, it was very interesting, because for me personally, there came a point where I was playing a lot of Ford Glory, and, you know, I had my system, and I would, you know, go into training and everything, but I realized, I was like, I am stagnating. Yeah, yeah. Um, and the big difference that, for me, what happened was I was like, I'm getting one of my 3DS. And so I dropped my 3DS, and I was like, now the only way I'm going to be able to get to play is if I go to tournaments. And, like, after that, like, my gameplay... Wow, you actually got rid of your 3DS. Yeah. I am... I got rid of my 3DS, but I'm still addicted to this game. I'm not going to pretend like I'm not. Dang, that's a. I can respect that, though, honestly. Like, I can respect I've that. done that quite a few times in my life. I'm the kind of guy where 
I'm a uh, I'm boom and bust when it comes to a lot of things. Yeah. So uh, when I get sma when I get my hands on Smash, I'll like grind it and grind it and grind it, and then I'm like, yo, I haven't like slept in two days. I should probably you know eat. Um, but anyway, uh, the other thing I was gonna say is that uh, for me personally with Yoshi, we should also wrap this up kind of soon so it doesn't end up being like a 20 minute interview. For sure. But, uh, the one thing I'd say is that with Yoshi, I have to put forward. I have like I'm not gonna say like oh I'm revolutionizing the Yoshi meta, but there like is a lot of like me actually discovering the character. Yeah. You know, because you have people like Raptor and the Wall, and that's it. Uh, yes. Uh, that's, yeah, that's it. Uh, so, for me personally, and I wonder, like, do you ever, like, is there ever something where, like, you went into training mode and you're like, I'm going to figure out this thing? Like, because for me personally, that's one of the reasons I, oh, good story. One of the reasons I love Yoshi is the fact that, um, you can just go in the lab and figure things out. Because it's, there's so much to learn. You know, it's not like, oh, like, I know, it, like, because Yoshi is also, he has gimmicks and he has, like, there's a lot of stuff he can do. Like, for instance, one thing I recently discovered, which I am hoping will really help out my gameplay, especially against SJ, is um, if Yoshi throws an egg at the perfect trajectory while he's grabbing ledge, it has it hangs for max time, which means that it can cover a uh, uh, jump off. How do you discover these things? I just, honestly, I don't have a system. It's literally, I'm driving, like, or I'm on the train. And I just, like, run through the game, and I'm just like... Think about it. Yeah. That's dope. Yeah. I mean, that's like a lot of like my sort of optimized follow ups actually just came from me like just driving. Labbing in your head, I guess. Yeah, that's, in your head. Which is, I don't know, pretty neat. Uh, but anyway, so we're probably gonna wrap this up. Great stuff to Bluey. You, uh, you are our champion, the, the leader of our hearts. Thank you. Um, so anyway, uh, Paul is uh, giving us the sign that uh, it's time to go. Paul, would you mind showing the lovely people at home what you just showed Chloe? What did I just say? Oh, no, no, uh, no, definitely he, he did not. This. Definitely not. He did this. Yeah, he absolutely yeah, yeah. did this. Yeah, at least he yes. didn't do this. The, the eSports thumbs up. At least right. he didn't do this. The eSports thumbs up. Yeah, I'm All right. Goodbye.